Have you ever tried to embed your favorite pictures onto your photo blog, only to have the picture end up being way too big for the uh, blog page itself? Or have you ever tried to send a picture via the email that would take forever to send because the file size is just way too big? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can quickly resize your favorite pictures using the software that is already on your Vista machine. Now you can put your pictures anywhere you like on your uh, computer, but the way Windows and different camera software is set up, they're usually set up in such a way that when you download your pictures from your digital camera, they are usually stored in the pictures folder within your user folder. So usually you can find your user folder on a desktop. So let's just go ahead and open it up. All right, we open it up. Now, once you open the user folder, go ahead and drag down and find the pictures folder. Within the pictures folder, you will see um, the individual folders that store the pictures um, that you want. In our case, we open the folder called Computer Tutorials, and there are four pictures in that folder we're going to work with. Okay, so. I will also show you another way, a longer way, to how to get to this folder. Um, and this way is particularly useful in case um, the user folder is not showing up on the desktop. So you go to your computer, you find the uh, OS drive, which is the C drive, you open it up, and then you drag down to find the folders that actually say users. Let's go ahead and drag it in, drag it down there. Here it is, users open it up and you find your user folder which has your name on it so open it up so once again you arrive at your user folder essentially this is like clicking the user folder on the desktop okay so you drag down and you find your um, pictures folder and again we're gonna open up the computer tutorials folder and we see the four pictures we're gonna work with. Most pictures we take from digital camera are just way too big um, to embed into web pages or send via emails. So what we can do is we can resize the pictures um, to fit those purposes. For example, this picture is 1600 by 1200 uh, pixels, and the size is 219 KB. This flower picture right here, it is also 16 by 1200 and the size is 571 KB. We're going to resize these pictures and the program we're going to use is actually Windows Mail. Yes, Windows Mail. Let's go ahead and open up this picture. And let's check out the um, some of the properties, hidden properties really, of these uh, pictures. The way you view them is you go to File, you go to Properties, Let's move it up here. Again, it shows you the um, dimensions of the pictures. Uh, it's fine. I was 24 bit depth, RGB. Oh, here you find I was taken with the Canon Power Shot A75. The f-stop, exposure time, focal length, aperture maximum. Again, down here it shows you how big the file is, 571, and also when it was taken. Okay, let's go ahead and close these pictures, and we're going to go ahead and proceed to resize the, the pictures. Again, you're going to use Windows Mail to resize these four pictures. So what you do to them is, first of all, you select all the pictures, uh, right-click, hit Send To, and then click on Mail Recipient. Okay, essentially this is going to bring up the dialog box asking you what size do you want to resize them to in order to attach them into Windows Mail. So there are different sizes you can pick from 640 by 480, 800 by 600, uh, 1024, 768. The large size or the original size in which nothing will be resized. Will we, we're going to try to resize it to 640, 480. Click attach. Okay. So, wait for a second. For the Windows uh, Mail to come up. Yep, here it is. This is the Windows Mail um, program containing the four resized pictures. Let me make a little bit of adjustment right here so that the 
this thing fits better in the screen. Let me drag it in and drag it up. Okay, you see these four JPEG files? They are the four resized pictures. So let's look at one of the resized pictures. Picture 1197.jpg. This resized picture is 79.7 KB. Now the original size is um, 571 KB. The original dimension is 1600 by 1200. Let's see what the new dimension is. So we go back to here. Click on that. Right click on it. Click open. Um, wait for it to come up. Oh, you see how it's much smaller and it fits nicer to the screen now? That's because it's been resized from 16, 1200 to 640 times 480. File properties. You see the dimensions right here? Let me drag it down a little bit. Dimensions now is 640 times 480. And uh, the size, for some reason, it's 106 and not 79.7. Uh, apparently, there are discrepancies there. Nevertheless, the picture uh, definitely has been resized. So let's see if we can save all of these four resized pictures. So you go to File, Save Attachment. Oops, not Save Message as. Cancel that. File, Save Attachment. That's the right one. So now we're going to browse to the path we want to save them. Um, we're actually going to go the long way, like I first show you, on to how to get to your pictures folder. So first of all, go to the C drive, and then file your users folder. Okay, click on your user, which has your name on it. There you go. Click on the pictures folder. Find computer tutorials. Now we're going to create a folder, a new folder. We're going to rename it 640 times 480, and this is where we're going to we're going to put the resized pictures in. Okay, click OK. And then we're going to click save to save the pictures to that new folder, 640 times 480. We're going to close up this mail program because we actually don't need it anymore. Here it is, 640 times 480. So what we did was we take these four original pictures, they're big, we resize them, and then we store them into this folder. Let's open up that folder. Let's recheck them, 1197. Again, it's 640 times 480, and the new size is 106 KB. This concludes our video tutorial. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Please help us spread the word about computertutorials.org, and please visit our website for more video tutorials.